Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons Channel. In this video, I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD, and at the end, I will also show you how to split such a part into two halves. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe, and if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. For smooth navigation, I use 3D Connection Space Mouse with discount code DamienCADCAM. You can buy this and other 3D Connection devices with a 10% discount. Details in the description of the video. Now, let's move on to FreeCAD, and I will show you how to create such a part. We will create a new parametric part. Click this button, and here we create a part in the Part Design module. We will start by creating a sketch. Select the Create Sketch command, and as the sketch plane, select the XY plane. Here we will draw two circles, whose centers will be at the origin of the coordinate system. Select the Circle Drawing tool, and select this point as the center of the circle. When this point is highlighted, click the left mouse button to automatically constrain the center of the circle to the origin of the coordinate system. For the diameter of the circle, enter 50mm and press Enter. Next, we draw the second circle, whose center will also be in this position and for the diameter of the circle, enter 70 millimeters. Close the sketch, and now we will create another sketch that will be a path for the extrusion of this sketch. Choose to create a sketch, and as the sketch plane, select the XZ plane. Here, select the Polyline Drawing tool, and draw the polyline in such a way that the first point of the polyline lies at this point. Place the second point of the polyline on the Y-axis. When the Y-axis is highlighted, click here with the left mouse button, and the next point of the polyline place roughly here. Double-click the right mouse button to finish this command. Now we will add a fillet. Select this command, and select this line, and this line. Click the right mouse button to finish this command. Now select this line and press the D key to activate dimensioning. For the length of this line, enter 70 millimeters. Hit enter. Select the radius and enter a radius value of 50 millimeters, and hit enter. Click the right mouse button to finish dimensioning. Select this line, select this line, and press the E key on the keyboard to apply the equality constraint. The sketch is complete. Close the sketch, and this is the path along which we will extrude this sketch. To do this, we select the sketch we want to extrude, then we choose the additive pipe operation, and here we click the object button and select the path along which we will add this extrusion. We click OK and in this way, we created something like this. Now we will create additional segments of this solid. We will create a sketch on this face. Select this face, and choose to create a sketch. Here we will start by creating reference geometry. Select this command, and create reference geometry based on this edge. OK. Now select the Circle Drawing tool, and draw two circles whose center will lie at this point, the first circle with any diameter, and the second circle with a diameter of 90 millimeters. Click the right mouse button to cancel the Circle Drawing command. Now select this circle and this reference line, and choose the Equality Constraint. You can click this icon, or you can press the E key on the keyboard. This constraint has been applied. Close the sketch, and based on this sketch, we will add an extrusion. 
Select the pad operation and here check the reversed option. Add the extrusion to 30mm and click OK to confirm. We will do the same on this face. We select this face and create a sketch on this face. Select the Create External Geometry command and select this edge of the model. Select the Circle Drawing tool and draw two circles, the first circle with any diameter and the second circle with a diameter of 90mm. Click the right mouse button to cancel the Circle Drawing command. Select the circle, select this line and choose the equality constraint, that is, press the E key on the keyboard, close the sketch and add the extrusion, check the reversed option so that the extrusion is added in this direction and we set the length of the extrusion to 30mm and click OK. In this way we have created such a solid. Now I will show you how to split such a solid in half. We will do this in the part workbench. Switch to the part workbench. I would like to split this solid in such a way that the splitting plane will be the XZ plane. To do this first we select the element we want to split and then we select the cutting element. The element I want to split is this solid and the cutting element is the XZ plane. However, as you can see at this moment, this plane is not visible. To enable the visibility of planes, we need to enable the visibility of coordinate systems. Select this in the operations tree and press the spacebar. Now the coordinate system and the plane are visible. Next, to make it easier to select the elements, I expand the planes in the operations tree. I select the solid, then with the control key, I select the XZ plane. Now from the part menu, expand the part menu. If this menu is not visible in the recording, just click the part menu on your end and then select the split option. Here, select Slice Apart. Now I select the coordinate system and the planes in the operations tree and press the space bar to turn off the visibility of the coordinate systems and the coordinate planes so that they do not obscure the view. And here, as you can see, something appeared in the operations tree. We have this part split into two equal parts. As you can see, this is how we can split solids. If you would like to split the solid into two equal parts, you can do it this way. And if you would like to split the solid in a different way, you can, for example, create a construction plane, and this construction plane will be the cutting plane. If you turn off the visibility of this split solid, you can turn on the visibility of the source solid. This solid has not been deleted, it has just been copied. The split of this solid into two equal parts was based on a copy of this solid. And we will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.